Okay, so for this video we'll be looking at smart events and in particular we'll be looking at face detection and how that works and how to get it working. So first you'll get your language selection pop-up. Uh, we can just exit this. Um, and then you need to log into your recorder. You can see we've already got the camera plugged in here. Um, so we're going to use the default password and log in. And to make sure it doesn't log us out again later on, we're going to enable the auto login. And you'll get prompted to modify the password. We don't need to do that right now. And then you'll get your wizard appear. So you can go through all the steps by hitting the next and making sure your settings are as you want them to be. Uh, but for the purpose of video, we're going to be skipping this. And uh, should you want to stop it popping up and you do want to skip it, you can just disable the wizard and uh, exit it and it won't prompt you again. So once you're on your preview, you can right click and you'll get all your options uh, appear. So we'll change this to a full screen view so we've got a better clear image of the uh, camera here. And next we need to go to our smart events. So you wanna go to system and then on the left hand side, you'll see we have some options and towards the bottom, we've got our smart events here. So you can see the face detection is already enabled, but uh, you may want to edit the sensitivity. So if, some, if the camera's got uh, a bit of a challenging angle or people are gonna be a bit further away from the camera, you might want to increase this so it has a better chance of picking up those faces as the camera sees them. Uh, once you've made the change, just hit apply. Uh, for processing method, you can have an alarm uh, from the recorder, so the actual recorder will buzz. Uh, you can enable that if you wanna use that feature. Uh, next, we've got the email notifications. So if you set up the SMTP settings for the recorder, you can enable a notification from your email. Uh, but the main thing we need here is channel recording. So you have to make sure that's enabled in order for the actual camera to record what it sees. Should you have an external alarm, um, you will need to uh, trigger an alarm output if you're using uh, an external alarm. And once you're happy with those settings, just hit apply. And then here we'll go to storage. And by default, the camera will be recording 24 seven anyway, so you won't have to worry about that. And then we're gonna go to our preview and I'm just gonna come into the view and trigger that. So you can see we get a little red icon here to indicate that it is recording and that it has captured my face and that the event is indeed working now. Uh, so you can come to the storage and then record and here we can go more settings. So the reason it lingered is because we got a post record time of five seconds and you can increase that if you wish. So once it's recorded it, it will save the footage for five seconds after. And like I say, you can increase it. I usually say a minute is a good amount of time. Now, if you wanna review what is captured of me, we're gonna go to our file management. So this won't go into your playback, it will come into your file management. And then here we've got human files. So you can select your date and time. Obviously for us, it would be today. And uh, you can select your option for video and picture and then hit search. And you can see we've got me coming into the scene now. Uh, you can select it. We've got a timestamp and a date stamp. Uh, you can hit play to preview what what's happening, and uh, you'll get a little clip here in the corner. Yeah, so you've got the five second post record, and then we're going to have the five seconds after record, and that's that. So if you want to view the full scene or scenario, you can take that timestamp, come to your playback. And uh, with your 24 hour recording, you can then uh, come into your playback and go to that timestamp. Uh, and that's it.